what the heck is this? Uh, this is just something I played with while that last video rendered. This is not beautiful, not wonderful, but what it is is an example to help some of you with trying to add color to different areas inside your line art. And I watch you with the, the paintbrush making attempts to color in between the lines like a coloring book. Now, in a coloring book, you have enclosed areas, these black lines that enclose shapes. You don't have anything open. Out here, nothing encloses this. If this line weren't here, this shape would not be enclosed, and this would just be a hollow area. As long as you close all the, all the lines, they all meet somewhere, um, they can be independent. You know, I can grab um, the ellipse tool, making sure I have no fill, and draw a little circle right here. They can be standalone like that, but how to color in all this? Let me show you the magic of the live paint bucket. Uh, you have to, once again, you have to be working with uh, line art and you got to enclose areas. And after you select everything, you go up to Object, Live Paint, Make. Option Command X, I don't use this enough to you, to memorize that, but maybe you will. And you'll know you have a live paint group because you get these weird little corners here. You see those are different than a regular selection. Now, it, to make this work, you come over here and you may get a warning that says, hey, you got compound pass, you got something else going on. This is just simple line art. So if you get that warning, read the words, and see if it works. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But underneath the shape builder, remember you can hover over these, click and hold, because there's a little triangle there, is the live paint bucket. Now, by default, the live paint bucket gives you something really useless, which is, and it didn't matter if we had a fill here before or not, it seems to swap out the, the fill color for nothing. Double click, select a color. You know, pick your color or cancel and just pick your color here. So now I've got green and notice how these areas light up. If I click, that green is applied to those areas. Cool, eh? And then you can just change colors. You know, click a few more times, change colors, and um, have your own little modern art fest, right? You can make your own beautiful fills uh, or <laughs> not so beautiful fills, however it works for you with the live paint bucket. This is kind of a fun tool and much less painless. Here, let's, let's fill this in because I want to show you a couple more things. Um, dun, dun, dun. Don't want to get the same color right next to it. And one more. Whoops. That kind of missed. See, it's not the end of the paint bucket. It's that little arrow there where things are being filled in. And last but not least, we'll pick that color right there and just fill in the last little bits right there. Now, you might say, I love this, but the background, I don't want it to be white. I want it to be black, let's say. Oh, I left out some spots, didn't I? Uh, we'll come back here and just get that really quickly. Uh, right there. Boom, boom, boom. Got everything. And remember, because we were smart, we have a background layer that we can select and then make the color we so desire. And remember, that's not black, that's not black, that's not black. Dragging all the way through the corner till you get all zeros, that is black. 
and now you have your beautiful Picasso ready for sale in, in the Modern Art Gallery. Have fun with the live paint bucket. Practice, practice, practice. And of course, silly me, I forgot to show you a couple things. Number one, always lock your background layer after you unlock it and change anything. And what if, hey, I don't like those strokes around this thing. I, I just want the color. I don't want the black outlines. Okay, fine. Select this and go up to your stroke down here, over here, up here, whatever, whatever is active. If the stroke is active, you can set this to none right here but I can still see little lines. Well, deselect, and then you won't see them. And then the one thing I didn't show you, if you do have little gaps and things aren't working and you don't want to close them up, you go under Object, Live Paint, Gap Options. And then you have the choice to detect gaps at small, medium, large, custom. Uh, this takes some time to get used to, to know how to make these settings experiment gap preview color do you want light red do you want some other color you figure it out and whether or not you want to set that as your default or not it's up to you gap detection little image there show you that hey if there's a gap and you try to use the light paint bucket it won't fill if um it's not an enclosed space. That's how you remedy that situation. All right, have fun with this guy.